deliberately at all otherwise you have to repeat the prayer and if you are leaving these acts you have to do uh, forgetfully if you forget to do any of these acts in the prayer then yes. you have to do two sajda at the end do you remember Fatima Yes. Yeah. You, do, you have done with that yes we have done so many times with that okay so let's just start what was the first one opening takbir Allahu Akbar second is standing if you are able to right yes. third is Al-Fatih we already discussed this fourth Ruku. When you are doing Ruku, what do you have to read? Subhana Rabbi al Remember this Fatima and Iqbal. This is very important. When you are in the Ruku, this is obligatory act. But if a person does this, and then he stands without saying anything in Ruku, does this prayer accept it? No. Yes. Yes? Because doing Ruku is obligatory. Saying in Ruku is recommended. Okay? Should we, should we leave recommended? No. I'm just saying. So if you do not read anything, let's say, it does not mean that your prayer is not accepted. Is it there? But if you didn't, if you didn't go for a Ruku at all, now it means that you're, you have done something big. Is it clear? Yeah. But does it mean that you don't have to say anything in Ruku? You have to. You have to. You have to. I feel so we will we will come in we will come and discuss this. Okay? Rising from Ruku. Can I tell the meaning of Ruku? We'll come and discuss about all the recommended acts. Okay, so I'm leaving that right now. Okay, fifth is rising from Ruku. What does it mean? Right. Come back up. So you are doing this and then all you, you read Subhana Rabbi al Azim, Subhana Rabbi al Azim, Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Sami Allah Liman Hamida. Now you have rose from the Ruku. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. Can I do it? I'll call you for the Sajda. <coughs> I don't know where he's talking about. Is it clear? <coughs> Is it clear? Yes. Again, when you do this, your back should be straight. You should again move your hands like you were saying Allah Akbar in the beginning. Is it clear? Yes. What standing straight? So, standing straight means this, like my bag is straight. Don't do like this. <laughs> you know some people go quickly after the ruku, they will sit and then they will just relax, bring peace. Okay, so once you are rising from the ruku, what do you have to say? Um, yes, so whatever we are saying, it's recommended, but only the action is obligatory. Is it clear? Yes. Hiban, is it clear? Yes. Sami Allahu liman hamida. What does Sami Allahu liman hamida mean? Uh, I, we don't know. Sami Allahu liman hamida. So when Imam says Sami Allahu liman hamida, it means? have heard whoever is praising him. Sami Allahu liman hamida. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have heard for whoever is praising him. Is it clear Fatima and Iqbal? 
When Imam says Allah have heard whoever is praising him, Sami Allah Liman Hamida Hibban. What do you have to respond? Are you Hibban? No. I didn't know, I thought you were Fatima. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, Hibban. When Imam says Allah have heard for one whoever was praising him. Then what do you have to respond? Good job. Yeah, recommended. It's recommended, but you have to say. Rabbana wa lakal hamd. What is Rabbana wa lakal hamd? Uh, do I have to write it? Yeah. O oh, our Master, your Lord, This is what you have to write. Okay. O oh, our master, all praises, all thanks is for you. O oh, our master. Write it down, write it down quickly, write it down. Mm. No worries. I'll uh, write it down later, Ivan. Ivan, can you say this? What do you have to say? Sami Allah Allah have Fatima, say this first. Allah has heard for whoever is praising. Then, Hibban, what do you have to respond in Arabic? Oh. In Arabic. Good job. What does it mean? Pay attention here, Hibban. Hibban, pay attention here. Oh. Our master, uh, I pray the thank me for you. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Just leave that, leave that, leave that, leave that. Good job. Okay. Should we move forward to the next one? Yes. Okay, rising from the Ruku. It's done. Five is done. Hiban, can you quickly summarize these five? What is the first one? Um, open to me. Okay, second. Standing if capable. Huh? Standing if capable. If capable. If capable. 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 Good job. Again, say capable. Kepet. Good job. Can I? Third. Safatia. Good job. Fourth. Ruku. What is Ruku? Huh? Huh? No, but what is Ruku? Ruku is a position, right? When you bow down. When you bow down. Okay? In English we say Ruku is? Ruku. Bow down. In bow. English we say this. Bow down. The position of Ruku. Ruku is an Arabic word, you remember? Yeah. The English word is bow down. This is basically bow down. Is it clear? Yeah. Then rising from the Ruku. Your back should be straight, stand straight. And then you should say what? Hibba? Sami Allah Huliman Hamida. What's the translation of that? All. Hibba? Hmm? Allah have heard for is whoever is praising him. Good job. So whoever is praising Allah, he have? He have? Him. He have heard. Heard. Heard means? Listen. Shabba. So whoever is praising him, he would? Heard him. Good job. He would listen to him, right? If I would say nice things about Allah, it means he will? Had it. He would listen to it, right? Yeah. That's what it means when you say Sami Allah Ibn Hamid. Is it clear? Yeah. When you say Allah, you are awesome! It means who is listening to you, Ibn? Allah. Good job. Then what do you have to say in Arabic? Oh. Sami Allah Ibn Hamid. Then? Rabbana wa Do you have to say your Rabbana wa lakal? What does it mean? Oh, our master, uh, all praise and thank me. It's for you. Good job. You didn't ask me. Yeah, I, because you already know this, I know. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay. Good job, Iban. Good job, Fatima. The last thing we are going to discuss is standing straight. Okay. I want to do standing straight. straight. You already did that. You already did that. 
But remember this why it's so important. If you were going to rise from the ruku like this. And then you go to sajda. It means you didn't stand straight, although you rose from the ruku. It's extremely important, it's one of the obligatory act. Once you are standing from the ruku, you should stand straight, your back should be straight, and you should look towards the place of sajda. Your eyes should always look at the place of sajda. But some people rush through the process. Ibarin Fatma, have you ever seen a child or a kid who prays salah with his parents and who rushes through the salah? Have you seen that, Ibarin? No. Fatma, have you seen that? There is one area where he will rush very quickly or she will rush very quickly and that is from Ruku when he will go to Ruku, he will do this he immediately go to Sajda he won't stand straight this is an obligatory act sometimes your parents will ask you to repeat your prayer if your parents will see this because if parents know this that rising from Ruku and standing straight after that is an obligatory act if you don't stand straight for a few seconds, it means your prayer might not be accepted. Is it clear? Can we do? Yes, Fatima. Can I do sujood? No, not sujood. Sujood will do tomorrow. Um. Uh, is it clear, Iqbal and Fatima? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Inshallah. So what we will what we will do, Inshallah, after finishing these fourteen, we are going to have a small activity, Inshallah, a small quiz, a small quiz, and then. And then eventually, inshallah, we are going to give you surprises, inshallah. Yay! Okay, jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.